Hello and welcome to a quick guide to wall riding in Savage 2. Now you've probably seen a lot of people do this on the maps and in case you're not sure how, this quick guide should show you some pointers. This first clip is the principle of wall riding. Approaching a wall and using the dodge button to launch yourself off it in the right direction. In principle all you have to do is turn slightly so that your dodge heads in the right direction of the wall. This should give you a lot more forward momentum when you come off it and you should gain some good distance on your jump. This is compared to a simple charge off a wall which although gives you the same distance uses up far more of the charge bar. Depending on the angle you hit the wall at will also depend on where you land. This can give you some interesting mid-air acrobatics. But the principle remains the same. Run up to a slope, use dodge and sideways roll off it. This can be used to find some interesting spots to launch yourself from. So let's compare. That's a simple dodge off a wall. If I now run round and do the same thing but with a charge, in principle it works the same. However, you use up more of your charge bar simply running over it. Using the dodge, will mean you gain further, the same kind of distance but use far less charge. It doesn't necessarily have to be with a marksman or a shapeshifter. All units can do this. However, a marksman and a shapeshifter, due to the way they roll, can do it far more effectively than any other unit. Any unit can get some distance off a uh, wall though, using dodge or charge. Not only does it increase speed, it also lets you get out of tight situations. So it's worth practicing. If you're a marksman, repeated dodges off a wall means you can run up, pop a shot off and pop back down again. It's useful for avoiding groups of enemies and generally staying out of harm's way until you can get back into the melee action. The small amount of charge means that you can do repeated jumpings up the wall and shoot as you come down. Remember, it's not a solution for everything though. As a finding wall riding option, you can use it as a quick escape route. You need a spawn portal. Although I have to say jumping into a tree is on the tricky side. We're under attack. It can certainly confuse fading. your pursuers though, at least for a while. So, there's our quick one guide to wall riding. I hope you find it useful. Maybe you can use it in Savage 2 to increase your chances of dodging and your general speed around the map. 